been quite the day, some ups and downs. I woke up this morning to realize that my cat is missing. And so I looked everywhere for her. I looked outside, I'm calling her. I'm thinking maybe she ran out when the workers were here and she is scared of outside. So that'd be bad if she got caught out all night. And I went upstairs and I was calling her in the kids' rooms and then I hear her and she is, I hear her under the floorboards and kind of behind the wall and I was like, oh no. She got insulated in. <laughs> uh, the, when the, the guys were here working yesterday insulating and uh, she must have run in into some sort of hole when they weren't looking and, and then got insulated in and there was no way for her to get out. So I texted the worker, the main contact and said, um, so you insulated my cat into the wall. And he's like, are you serious? And I said, I don't usually talk about these things. When can you get here? Cause my poor kitty's meowing a storm and I can't get to her. And, um, and sadly, this is actually the second time that my cat has done this. The first time was when I redid the bathroom and she got drywalled into the wall. So you think one of us would learn. So anyway, he's like, do you want me to come out there right now? And it was 6.30 in the morning that I texted him. I was like, no, she'll still be there when you get here at 8.30. That's okay. So anyway, that was exciting. And I went to work and came back. Well, I had a meeting this morning with my uh, Indian documentary team, um, my documentary on HIV in India. And uh, that, was, that was a fun little meeting. Nice to catch up with them and continue moving forward. Then I ran to work and came home at 8.30 for a few minutes to help them to get the cat out. And it was a success. Um, also, what else? Uh, ran home after work and I thought, you know, I was going to take a quick shower and then nap for a while because of my four hours of sleep. And that didn't happen because the workers were all still here hammering away and there's stuff everywhere. I couldn't get in, get anywhere near the bathroom and I was exhausted. So I just kind of lied down with hammering going around everywhere and oh, it's such a mess here right now. But such is the price to pay for new windows and insulation. I'm not going to complain. So anyway, I ended up running a little bit late to a dinner that I had with a, with a friend of mine and it was nice to catch up with him. I haven't been able to get to know him too well, so that was nice, and, and I had a good time, and then ran over to dance at the Westerner for some country dance and fun, so been a full day, and again, I'm I'm home later than I meant to be, um, but everything went a little bit later than I meant, so anyway, about to head to bed, but I'll show you some videos. Oh gosh, not again. My cat is in the wall. I think she got insulated into the wall or walled back in to here. Meow. 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 My poor baby. Here, I'll show you. Meow. Ah! I can't get to her. <laughs> 6 30 in the morning. I just discovered her. Last night I was so wiped out from my migraine and then just left. I got home. It was late. So I passed out and I was woke up and I was like, wait, she never slept with me. What's, where is she? There she is. There's a hole in the closet, but I, I think it's, she can't get through there. Or she doesn't know to. Fun. All right, I'm just getting in the car from work, going to uh, meet up with the workers at my house to go rescue the cat. Ah! All right, here we go. Did we seal those off? Yeah, either way, it doesn't matter which time. You still both of them. They're still, okay. Yeah. So. So. Whichever you need to get in there, we can just go downstairs and you can call for it right here. Okay, that's fine. Are you just going to try and tear that with your arm? Uh, I just need a glove. Do we have a glove? My phone makes it clear. There should be a glove right here, actually. Unless you want it, one that won't rip. Okay, glove. You are? You're going to double layer it. Extra protection. <laughs> there we go. It's exciting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's a sneaky cat. I didn't see it once <laughs> yesterday. Never tea. Hmm. 
Nefertiti. Nefertiti, come here. Nefertiti. Let's see if this does it. Nefertiti. Here, kitty. There you are. How ironic is this song on the radio? Operation Rescue Cat was a success. <laughs> we got her out of the wall. And I can't remember if I mentioned this before. This is the second time that this has happened. It happened when I was um, remodeling our bathroom and she got drywalled in. So I should learn. Anyway, back to work. Just pulled into my house and uh, it's early, they're not done for the day yet. So. So there's still four workers here in my grand plan to take a nap before I head out tonight because of my four hours sleep last night is falling through. They're hammering up a storm. Of course they stop now while I'm videotaping. So I figured I'd try to lie down anyway and just at least get a little bit of rest and hurry and take a shower and get ready as soon as they leave right now. I like, can't even really get into the bathrooms and uh, most of the house, so, uh, so good, so good. Okay, so we just got finished eating Thai food. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. And we went on a long walk talking about productivity and leadership, mm -hmm. my favorite topics. Mm -hmm. And you've promised to teach me the guitar. How long have you been playing? Um, about if you two say and six years. months, you'd be the wrong yeah. person. To... Okay, so I'm gonna learn how to play the guitar, and you can all hold me to learning. Mm -hmm. That's right. What's the first song, or do I just learn how to hold well, it? Well, first I'll teach you how to play seven chords, the open chords. Okay. That's the first. That step. seems scary already. Yeah. But all right, I told him he has to be really patient. Yeah, patience is, is good. Yeah. I actually I started taking a class in college, uh -huh. and we tuned <laughs> it was okay. the first part and you had all these guitars in this huge classroom uh -huh. tuning and i couldn't for the life of me figure out what to tune it to like i couldn't oh. hear it okay is that something that's supposed to come naturally uh, you know we have tools now so you i have a thing on my phone but i quit because <laughs> i never got past tuning <laughs> oh okay. so that was the end of my guitar career so i have oh. a guitar okay and i haven't touched it since the tuning. Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> the, the first step. Thereof, that would be so. the first lesson is how to tune a guitar well, properly. We'll tune it first, and it needs it. It's a few years. That's okay. Not tune. All right. Okay. Any, anything else?